Today, we are going to explore Raymond Holt's awesomeness. Layer by layer, TV trope by TV trope. Oh my! So you like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Mr. Scoffer? Who would have thought that? Hot damn! Don't be fooled, Mr. Fully Lover. It's not that I like Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It's just that Raymond Holt is a character that particularly deserves respect and a sensible amount of admiration. And the tropes that help us define this character can explain why. Why? Not that I disagree or anything, but there are many characters in Brooklyn Nine-Nine that deserve respect. And, as you say, a sensible amount of admiration. Well, Holt is the ace. He is a brilliant detective who became a commanding officer while being black and gay, despite all the racism and homophobia. Raymond is professional about everything he does. And his favorite part of the job is taking on multiple serial killers single-handedly. That says something about his personality. But what about Peralta and Santiago? Santiago is the youngest sergeant in the NYPD, while Peralta often breaks department records and is one of the best detectives in the precinct despite all his goofiness. Being the ace is only one element of Holt's awesomeness. He is also the stoic of the series. None of his colleagues can read him. Well, how do you even know he's in a bad mood? I mean, it's impossible to read that guy. This is the most incompetent, worthless report I have ever read in my life! Get your act together or so help me God, you won't live to see retirement! He is like a statue come to life. Impassive. So calm most of the time that no one can see his true emotions. Isn't his husband Kevin an even better display of the stoic TV trope? He even considers Ray the funny one in their relationship. Well, Ray is also the bald black leader guy. He might have started out with a buzz cut, but later in the series he becomes legitimately bald. He fits most of the standard stereotypes of the trope. He is authoritative, serious, and commanding. Yet Ray adds special undertones to being the bald black leader guy. That's good, because, you know, there's one more character that falls into the bald black leader guy category in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I am speaking of Sergeant Jeffords, of course. He is also black, bald, and the leader of the detective squad. Of course, Jeffords also expands this trope, being both intimidating when needed during his work and kind with his team. What undertones does Ray add to the bald black leader guy trope? The undertones of actually having a great sense of humor. Holt is an embodiment of the comically serious trope. He can make the funniest jokes. And the fact that his face doesn't betray a single emotion only makes his jokes even funnier. Sometimes his poker face is comic on its own. For example, when Ray says how happy or angry he is, while remaining deadly serious. Another amusing thing about Holt is that most people around him consider Raymond's deadpan manner of delivering jokes hilarious, while his own crew has no idea why it is like that. Isn't Rosa Diaz only kind of comically serious? I mean, she rarely expresses any emotions except for anger, and it also creates a comic defect sometimes. You know what, Mr. Fully Lover? The fact that some other characters fall under the same TV tropes doesn't mean that they are just as awesome as Raymond Holt. Because he is a father to his men! I believe he is the only character on Brooklyn Nine-Nine that falls under this trope. Exactly! Despite being the stoic, Raymond Holt cares about his people. He is a mentor both for Peralta and Santiago. He respects his detectives, shows patience when needed, and takes responsibility for each officer under his command. Holt might seem a little bit robotic sometimes, but in fact, he has a heart of gold. That's true. Huh. You know, Mr. Scoffer, I find it kind of funny that you like a character that is your complete... Copy? Uh, complete opposite. How dare you! Roar!